B and B. So B and B. The Binance have done a big old burn um, to the tune of like half a billion dollars, actually more. Uh, so we want to take a look at really where B and B is right now, what it can hit in this bull cycle. I think it's fairly obvious that this can do uh, some gains. I'm not ta necessarily saying it's going to get to like 20 grand, but uh, we'll take a look at it in this video. Before I get into it, if you're new here and you don't know what the spreadsheet is, it shows the first 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. Now in the videos, I showed myself buying up all of these cryptos. They were coins that I thought were going to make me very good money. You can see what the coins were worth when I recorded the videos. You can see the highs. These coins that hit in under a year and a half. You can also see what the profit would have been if you'd put $100 into these coins when I released the videos and sold after about 15 or 16 months. Your total profit in under a year and a half would have been over 123 grand. Now, depending on where you live, that could be an incredible house or it might not be a house at all. But in under a year and a half, pretty fantastic. Downside is obviously you don't have a year and a half to sort your portfolios out. We're in a bull cycle right now. And if you're sitting on cryptos you're not confident in, it's probably because they're not going to make you any money. If that's the case, get onto copymycrypto.com. Just have a look through the site. That's the site I run where I share my portfolio with my members. Whenever I'm ready to buy or sell any coin, I tell my members the coin that I'm going to buy or sell, the price I'm going to do it at. So my members can copy along exactly, meaning they make the exact same profit as me, except they have no work to do at all. And on the site, you'll see what my members have earned. You can read their testimonials. You can see the successes we have had. You can verify it all as well. And if after doing all of that, you like what you see, guys, try out the service, especially before these markets start ripping. You want to get the right coins in your portfolio before then, trust me. Now, BNB. <clears throat> so starting piece of news, really. So BNB did a burn. So they burnt one... 0.77 million BNB. Um, and bear in mind, each coin is worth like 550 odd bucks. That is an enormous amount of money. In fact, it is pretty damn close to a billion dollars worth of money that has been burnt. Um, which, again, you know, pretty damn good. So. 1.77 times, let's go 5553, yeah, 978 million on current price. Um, and the quarterly burn again removes uh, 1.77 million tokens um, supporting governance and supply reduction goals. Remember their reduction goal is to get down to 100 million tokens. So in the last 24 hours, price has moved a tad. Not really much is happening. Obviously, it's the start of the month. We've also got a hell of a lot uh, coming this week with the old general election in America. That should cause a fair amount of volatility in the markets. Anytime there is change, there is volatility. Um, so, yeah. And obviously, depending on who wins, there'll be more or less volatility. So, uh, BNB is the to initially it was launched as an exchange token for Binance, which is obviously the single biggest exchange in the world. Um, they then expanded this enormously. BNB became their own chain. They got the Binance chain. They got the Binance smart chain. Uh, they have the Binance Academy. They have Trust Wallet. They have research projects. I mean, this has become an enormous, enormous ecosystem. I mean, yeah, nothing more really needs to be said about it. BNB is founded by uh, CZ, who's the founder and CEO of Binance. Well, was, was. Um, and look, again, burning that level of money, I mean, of course, actually, because when they did the burn, the price was uh, higher. It did actually break a uh, billion dollars in terms of what they just burnt. Um, now where we're at with um, BNB is it's a pretty staggeringly good ecosystem now. They've got a lot a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Reject that. Cookies. Reject the cookies. So, uh, if we have a look at the DAP Bay, we can see what's kind of uh, doing well on Binance right now. Or on BNB. I really do have to get used to BNB instead of Binance. So, we can check out. I actually think their DAP Bay is really good in terms of. I think DAP Bay is really good. But uh, you can see like user growth. So, Hollow World AI has had huge user growth. Um, well, obviously, it's probably, quite, probably just a newly launched thing. Um, top total value locked in terms of growth. Stargate, absolutely 
banged up nicely. Uh, you can see uh, Wing had a bad time. Um, the fact that that's in the top five shows that there's not exactly tons of money flowing into DeFi right now. Um, there are reward campaigns where you can win some cash. Uh, that's all there as well. And you can see the recently listed dApps and you can see the seven day changes in user. In terms of ranking, it's actually quite a useful thing to sort of run through and see where they're at. Like transaction wise, they're doing solid numbers, you know, 3.5 million a day. You cannot knock that. They're really good, really, really good numbers. Um, if we're talking about numbers of transactions over a seven day window, you can get an idea of like really where there is a heavy usage particle network is um, having a lot of users, 1.12 million, uh, 6.94. Again, I like this. I really like DAP uh, Bay's like ability to check stuff out. And look, realistically, BNB as a token is obviously going to have a good year. Um, it is interestingly not on Coinbase. No, unless it's just not doing numbers on Coinbase, but I don't think it is on Coinbase. Um, yeah, so if you've got a Coinbase listing, obviously there could be a little bit of a bounce, but this has an enormous market cap. So bounce for something with a market cap of $80 billion, it's not exactly the easiest, but BNB has done really well this past year. Um, all time high was this past year. It smashed up to $720. Uh, is it going to break that once again? I think it's quite likely we're going to see BNB hitting a new all time high again this year or in the next six months. Um, right now, you know, they're doing these quarterly burns. So there'll be another burn uh, in a few months. And that again will knock off a billion dollars worth of crypto out, out there. Uh, off the market cap. So again, we can see probably a little bit of growth off the back of that. BNB fundamentally is look, it's attached to the biggest ecosystem in the world. It's attached to the biggest exchange in the world. This is going nowhere unless there's an awful hack or something. This is always going to be knocking around the top 10. Just is. Um, and BNB looks ready to start actually hitting uh, quadruple digits now. Uh, if it hits $1,000, it has a market cap of $144 billion. That seems very, 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 very achievable, especially when you see things like Dogecoin not that long ago, you know, hit sort of similar numbers in terms, well, quite, I think it hit about $70 billion at peak, but BNB has so many use cases. BNB has a, in terms of sheer size is enormous. Again, barring like something catastrophic happening um, in terms of a hack or catastrophic in terms of like the SEC or some government institutions starting to attack Binance, which is certainly possible. BNB looks nailed on to at least hit $1,000. Um, there is absolutely a world where we could see BNB hit a couple of grand this year. Now, is it going to? Probably not. Probably not going to hit a couple thousand because that would put it at a market cap of $300 billion. I don't think we're there yet. But again, it will depend on what the hell uh, Bitcoin does. Because if Bitcoin runs up to 120, 125,000 bucks, we could easily see, um, we could easily see BNB hit a couple of thousand. So I think that the, the success of Bitcoin in this next sort of six, seven months is going to be really important in terms of how BNB does. But I think $1,000 looks pretty nailed on this year. Um, it's really only 100% gain, a little less. It's about 90% gain from where it is. Should be very, very achievable. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Do you think this can do way, way more? Am I being harsh saying only 1,000 or only a couple of thousand at best? Is anyone here thinking this can get to five digits? I think that's almost impossible. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. And guys, look, we're in a bull cycle right now. And if you're not happy or confident in the cryptos you own, get something done about it today. Get onto copymycrypto.com. Have a look through the site. It's the site I run where I share my portfolio with my members. When I'm ready to buy or sell any coin, I tell my members the coin that I'm going to buy or sell. 
price I'm going to do it at so my members can copy along exactly. They'll make the same profit as me, except they don't have any work to do at all. And again, on the site, you can see what my members have earned. You can read their testimonials. You can see our successes. It's all public record as well. You can literally verify it all on the history of this channel. And if after doing that, you like what you see, guys, try out the service before these markets rip. Because once they do, if you're holding the wrong coins, you're just going to end up watching everyone else making money in these markets while you don't. And that is not the point of being in the crypto market, guys. Uh, that is it from me. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.